Wise words of wisdom for aspiring actors. I, I think it's just you've got to be true to yourself. I think that's the bottom line is that you kind of know your truth. You know, you know if you have a secret about something. That's always my touchstone is, is you know, if I can imagine many other people playing the part well, then I think I haven't unlocked the secret about it that means that I should be the one to play it. Um, you know, I feel I have to have an edge, I suppose, or something that, a connection that means that you can't ignore, or, or, or it's, it's something alchemical almost. Um, um, and I think it's kind of speak your mind too. I think you never regret calling someone on something. You never regret, you know, challenging a thought if, if it's what you feel. You know, if you feel that something isn't on the page, it probably isn't. And, um, you know, and I've only learnt this in recent years. I, you know, there are plenty of times when I've played parts um, and had a much more interesting character in my head than could ever be achieved on the screen because it's ultimately it's in what they, the character does. Um, sometimes what they say, but, but usually what, what they do that, that, that leaves the sort of impact of that person on, on, on the movie and on the audience. Um, and often I've developed a kind of complex set of, you know, contradictions and internal worlds for people and realised when I see the finished film, oh, you know, no one's going to get any of that, <laughs> you know. So I think it's important to, to sort of defend what you think about things. Um, and for any English actor, <laughs> I would say spend your money on a dialect coach and master an American accent because it's more and more and more useful. And it, it, uh, for me, I think the dedication that I've put into becoming fluent, I would say, in American, you know, means that I can be as free as I can in English when I'm speaking American, but only now. And I didn't, I didn't, no one gave me that advice at the beginning of my career and, and, and I was held back by it, I think, because there was a time when, you, you know, I could master the accent, but I wasn't free to inhabit it, you know? And that's, there's two different things. And now, you know, I can be as deft as, as I can in English, with an English accent. Um, so that's, that's my strongest piece of advice, I think. Uh, the myths. Um, well, one I suppose is that is that girls take longer in hair and makeup than the boys. I don't think that's <laughs> don't think that's true at all. <laughs> um, two is uh, um, that it's glamorous. <laughs> Any of my friends who come and uh, visit me on set say almost universally, "Wow, this really is not glamorous, is it?" Um, you know, when they sit around with people eating lunch out of a cardboard box and. Um, not getting to go to the bathroom for six hours. Um, I, I think that's one of the biggest, biggest misconceptions. I think that the only tip for auditioning is to, is to go in there and be prepared to play. I think it's be prepared to, you know, you know, have your take and, and, and be, be strong with your take, but then be prepared to be malleable, you know. And I think that's the fun. I mean, most of the time people are wanting to know if you can be directed um, and if you can be free. And, um, and, you know, I think you can, s you can surprise people. It's, it's, it's about really how relaxed you can be with the role. I know that's a sort of hard thing to, you know, it's a hard thing to do because the whole very nature of auditioning means that you often feel very nervous and, you know, feel you don't look right. But I think if you can kind of, that's one thing, you can get what you look like out of the, out of the picture because there are, that's other people's business, basically. I've learned that in later life. What you look like is not your responsibility. That is the responsibility of another department. So your responsibility is to bring truth to the character. Um, so I think especially girls, you know, who probably go into an audition and, and, you know, spend too long before they go out doing their hair and makeup, and actually they'd be better placed just kind of, I don't know, walking through a park and feeling free and making sure the lines are kind of in their body. You know, directors are sensitive people. They directors want to see what's in your soul, not what's not what's here. So things that help me. Um, I mean, when I started out, there was a there was a book called Improv, which I found very inspiring because 
I think it just makes you think freely and, and makes you, I, I found it as a kind of, it's not something necessarily I've gone back to. There was also a book that David Mamet wrote called True, True or False, um, which, was a, which was a great resource and, and sort of, you know, it sort of backs up one's instincts. Um, and now I, I, I really love talking to actors about acting. I really crave that connection with other actors and, and, and sometimes actors are quite shy to really discuss it because there's some part of it, the process, that feels that almost, I feel this, that somehow if you analyse it too much it might, be, it might disappear. You know, that if you try and touch it, it'll, it'll evaporate. Um, but I've had a really good time recently. There's a, there's, a, there's a photographer in America called Sam Jones who um, does a series of um, podcasts and video chats called Off Camera. And I really, really enjoyed seeing and listening to those because he, if, unlike most interviews that you get which are edited and somehow curtailed and often, you know, steered towards an actor talking about their particular movie that they're in right now, um, it's a sort of hour-long meandering through someone's career, aspirations, what acting means to them, and often it, he kind of makes gets people into a comfortable enough space that you really get something that feels real and truthful and and for me that's just gold and it's um and it's really kind of exciting when you hear things that you know experiences that you can share and you can identify with and you think yes that's exactly what it's like or um oh i felt like that too or whatever you know it's actors showing their vulnerabilities and sharing those vulnerabilities and often it's quite it's candid and, and unusual so I'd say if you're you know if you're interested in acting go and check out some of those